Question, the member from Niagara West, Glanbrook. Thank you, uh, Speaker. Question to the Minister uh, of Health. Minister, um, the McGuinty government's new Lynn scheme, emergency services and surgery, will be eliminated from Douglas Memorial Hospital in Fort Erie and Port Colborne General Hospital. Other hospital services like maternity will be taken out of Niagara Falls General. Just a year ago, neither your predecessor, the Premier, or your local Liberal candidates breathed a single word about these dramatic hospital service reductions. In fact, Minister, your candidates promised just the opposite. Minister, the health care buck stops with you. You make the call. Will you stay true to your campaign promises, set aside this tainted process, and preserve these vital hospital services in these communities? Sir. I think it's important to understand that a hospital improvement plan has come forward by the Niagara Health Services itself. It has gone through uh, quite an extensive community consultation and conversation, and in fact, we've had the, the President and CEO of the Ottawa Hospital, Dr. Jack Kitts, bring his team to be able to provide advice, to be able to provide that engagement with, uh, and I hear my colleagues from Ottawa talk about Dr. Kitts as being an excellent health care and system leader. In fact, uh, Dr. Kitts uh, um, um, engaged local community and uh, has made some recommendations um, to the Lynn. The Lynn has received his report on the feasibility and the impact of the Niagara Health System Improvement Plan at its board meeting, uh, in fact, uh, yesterday. The board is not expected to make any immediate decisions on the hospital improvement plan or on Dr. Kitts' study. The board will take the time to consider the information and will announce its decision and implementation plan to the community by the end of the year. I'm pleased about the Minister, supplementary. <clears throat> Minister, you know the fix was in. Your government gave the NHS marching orders to cut $15 million from the budget, and they gave them six weeks to do it. You then gave extraordinary powers to unelected, unaccountable, and largely anonymous government appointees on the Lynn. Minister, it's what it says on your desk. You're accountable for how every health care dollar is spent. 5,000 people came out in Fort Erie. 2,500 people came out in Port Colborne to protest the elimination of emergency services. Minister, there can be no more clear signal of the vital nature of these hospitals to health care and economic development in Fort Erie and Port Colborne. Minister, will you come out from behind the skirts of your Lynn and stand up for health care in these two communities? In, in fact, uh, since 2003-2004, since base funding in Niagara Health System has increased 43 percent. And that's in marked contrast to this member when he said on this side of the House, when he and his colleagues cut funding, cut and threw uh, um, a number of personnel out on the street, and in fact, to this day, continue to advocate for a $3 billion cut to health care services, and I shudder to think what the impact of that kind of an action would have on Niagara Health sy Systems and on the services that, that the good people of Niagara rely upon. In fact, uh, um, Speaker, we've seen 368 new long-term care beds in the Niagara area. We've seen 96 more permanent beds that will be coming online by 2010, and our aging at home strategy investing another $60 million. We've brought in the expertise of Dr. Kitts, and I would quote him. He says, in terms of improving quality... New question, the member from Nickel Belt. 